taught by Father Jeremy Haburimanu. Jesus Christ, dead and risen, give us the gift of knowledge. Thursday within the octave of Easter. Readings. First reading. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Reading Act of the Apostles 3. 11-26 As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead, of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord, your God, raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first... God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 8 Response O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth! What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! Gospel Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke 24, 35-48. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. 
While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the Law of Moses and in the Prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance, for the forgiveness of sins, would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Talk. Dear brothers and sisters, today, Jesus Christ, the Lord, presents to us to open our understanding by his Holy Spirit, so that we can understand what it is written about him, understand what it is preached about him to increase our faith in his presence as alive. Only we convert in him, to him, with him. In Jesus Christ, dead and risen, is the power that awakes us, which convert us. Yes, our history, when we have faith in him, necessarily changes in the name of Jesus Christ. Talking of him, we can change the history of a lot of people, but it is necessary that first we changed ourselves. We must believe that Jesus is our Savior, our freedom, our life, our death, our glory, our happiness, Jesus Christ. In the first reading, the apostles insist above faith. From the miracle in which heals in the name of Jesus Christ. Between him and his disciples originated a very huge love. The healed person didn't he want to separate from them. This occurs always, Jesus as spirit, dead and risen, created the communion between them. When one person enter in the Paschal, in Jesus Christ, dead and risen, he she feels very united to those that believe in Jesus. The saints are our first friends, and all who believe in Jesus Christ increase the love to the saints, because the saints live near him. Jesus dispels from sin and get close to Mary and the saints. The saint's communion began here. The communion is more than a friendship, is brothers and sisters more than those from the blood, and is a mysterious fraternity, mystical. Sons and daughters of a same father, members of a same body, the of Jesus Christ, that it is why they are united. And if you do not have friends in this world, the saints are your friends. For Jesus Christ s grace, always you will find somebody that loved Jesus Christ to walk together, always is like that. Jesus Christ creates a new community, the church. All that fills in communion, to be of Jesus Christ, to live in him, always receive the mission to announce him to others. As the gospel says, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance, for the forgiveness of sins, would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. 
Each person that finds Jesus it feels called to transmit this grace. This is the fire that he to the others, to light others. In every preaching in which Jesus Christ is spoken, the eyes of the listener are opened, the knowledge is opened in the heart, he realizes his evil, looking to the infinite goodness of Jesus Christ, and is attracted to him, does not run away, confesses his sins, Lord, I am a sinner, forgive me. Contrary to what happens when Jesus said, in the Gospel of St. John 8, He who has no sin, let him throw the first stone, when they all left instead of confessing their sins. They didn't have the grace. We do have that grace, we do not flee to see our sin, but we go to him. Yes, Lord Jesus, I am evil, forgive me. I have a black history full of darkness, I have committed all sins, I deserve death. Have compassion on me. That is why we talk about conversion and forgiveness of sins, both go together. After presenting Christ to the world, the consequence is always conversion that is, seeing the evil of sin. I want to leave evil. I go to Jesus who saves me from my past sins with his goodness to build a holy future on the rock that is he, Jesus Christ. We have the mission to speak of Jesus Christ in his name because there is only one Savior and he will save all who hear to talk of him and his name enters them. The fact of hearing his name indicates that something has already happened because only the Holy Spirit opens the ears. Blessed are those who speak of Jesus Christ. Blessed are all who feel called to announce Jesus Christ to those who do not know him, to those who do not speak of him. That mission is yours, it is mine. We have to comply. Come, Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us.